You know, I've been getting into punk myself lately. Well, this guy's in love and insane. And that's, that's gonna be my girl. Like, we're gonna be together. Actually, I think this question might be just up your alley. I'll ask her out today. I will ask her out today, I swear. Okay, you're gonna answer the question. You're gonna research the brain thing, right? Yeah, yeah, I just seem to find out her name. You guys are still in the armpit phase. Yeah, I know what it's like. I mean, you're crazy about the other person. All you can really think about is jumping them. But um, research for this truth and rumors question turns out it's all pheromones. Yeah, you know, smells you give off, they mess with the other person's brain. That would be pheromones. Yeah, but don't worry, that crazy in love part where you, know, you can't keep your hands off each other and spend all your time in bed? That only lasts like Three months, supposedly. And then your brain chemistry changes and you cool off. You just gotta hang in there. You think he's right? Three months and it starts to fade? I don't feel it fading. See, I think he meant three months after you guys start sleeping together. Oh. Well, that is a good reason to postpone sex now, isn't it? No, no, that's, that's not what I meant. You're in that band Shredded, right? Uh-huh. Are you into punk music? Yeah, totally. And you know what? It must be really cool to play in a band. You're a musician? Oh, um... Yeah, I, I guess I, I play the guitar a little, and I sing. Cool. Anyway, uh, I wanted to talk to you. Do you think, um, maybe... I, I guess what I'm, what I'm asking is, um... Could, 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 could I... Uh... Oh, yeah, I guess so. It depends how good you are. So, we couldn't say until after you audition. Audition? Well, yeah, we take the band pretty seriously, so... You want to audition for the band, right? Like, that's what you're talking about? The band, yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, that's what I was... Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, good. When we set it up, I'll let you know. Okay, great. Well, uh, I'm, uh, I'm Sandy. Charlotte. Yeah. And here's my phone number. Thanks. Hotmail. Major, cell, and locker number. Okay. <laughs> it's not like I'm a virgin. And I care about Jack more than I have ever cared about a guy. So you would think... But for some reason, I just, I keep pulling back. You don't want to hear about any of this stuff, do you? I don't know what to do. You know, I mean, he's a guy, and I know he wants to, and I'm tempted to. And he knows about Andrew. I mean, he's even brought it up a few times before. No advice? Don't worry about what people expect you to do. Right. Thank you for talking to me about this. I mean, thank you for listening to me talk about this. Look, I'm really into the whole punk scene. Okay, and I, I can sing. I made it to the second round of Pop Icon. Shut up. Look, I'm serious. 
Right, the Angry Simones, Rancid Hellspawn, Manic Street. I, I know all this stuff. And of course, the Ramones and Green Day. Look, we just lost our rehearsal space. We don't even have a place to audition you. I have a garage where we could go. Okay, then. All right. So, how's that going? Great, she's, she's amazing. Good. Did you get a chance to answer that renegade truth and rumors question yet? You know, crazy teen brain, armpits. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. Good. You and that girl go out yet? No, not really, but she got me an audition, which is sort of like a date. I guess so, in the world of Butella. She's coming over to my place for the audition. Yeah, with the rest of the band. Whatever, man. Well, when I do get a date, I'm going to be ready. For what? All right, the part of the brain that concentrates on consequence grows up a little late, right? And that's why some guys don't always use condoms. I plan on practicing safe sex. I'm sure you'll have a lot of time to practice. Look, just face it. There's no way you're gonna do it before me. You don't even have a girlfriend. By the end of the day. This sounds stupid. I, I uh, really wanted to kiss you. Me too. Really? Sandy? You okay? Huh? Did, did I... <laughs> Why are you making those moaning noises? Look at you. You're like a mess. Don't tell me you actually have a date with that girl. An audition. Um... I gotta, uh, really had to take a shower. We had gym this morning. A cold one. <laughs> so you're saying we can practice here anytime? Yep, no problem. You're in? <laughs> hey, what are you doing tomorrow night? I don't know. Wanna come over to my garage? To practice? No, just to hang out. Sort of like a date. Or we could practice music if you'd rather, or a practice date. Yeah, I guess that'd be okay. This is my house, so I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Lutella rules! Yes! What's up? Go on, tell him. Sandy's a punk star. That's what you're all excited about. You're in the band. Yep. And I got a date with Charlotte. I'm telling you, man, it's all happening. On the first date? First date? No, 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 no. It's it's all coming together. As in, uh, I'm in a band now. I'm gonna have a girlfriend. Good luck with that. Oh, guess finally I get to be a normal guy. This is really something, huh? Three normal guys with girlfriends, hanging out, talking about chicks. So, what do you mean by that? Normal guys. Us, man. Come on, guys with girlfriends. Well, I'm... Bisexual. No, you're not. Really? See you later, buddy. What do you think? It's really good. What? I heard you guys today. Obsessing about who gets to make it with their girlfriend first. We were just kidding around. Spare me, okay? It's not about that for me. 
No. It's just that when you love someone and they love you, you just think... And it's not like it would be your first time. Zoe! Wait! I just lost it and took off. I can't believe he's in this whole stupid competition thing. Don't tell me you think that's okay. And yeah, it's stupid. And they're guys. I don't even really know what's bugging me. I wish I hadn't slept with Andrew. What do you think? Jack's your friend, not just your boyfriend. Why don't you talk to him about this? Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, I've been doing a lot of reading uh, about the teen brain for the truth and rumors question, and it turns out a person can change their brain pattern. Okay, for example, a person who was wasn't sure, right? They could check their anterior commissure to see if they were gay, right? And they could reprogram their neurons and completely change the way they think. Like, trust me, I've been doing some work on my own brain. Trying to find out if your brain is gay? No. All right, to get stuff right with Charlotte, there are actually ways to fix these things. Yeah, fix what? <laughs> oh you, you haven't... Well, don't you think you owe it to Patty to tell her? You know what? You tell her. Perfect, all right. Tell me what? That Oscar's by? You know. Yeah, so have you actually answered that question for Renegade? Crazy team brain? You should get on that. Yeah. I heard about Oscar. Does everyone know now? No, I don't think so. Just, you know, Jack told me. You guys seem really happy together. And if you don't mind me asking, um, how does that work when things are... What? Well, you know, just if Oscar's by, that must make things a little complicated, right? Kind of. Now that people know. So, how does that work? I don't know, exactly. I mean, it's weird, okay? But I guess, to me, he just seems like he's worth it. Ask me a math question. I'm trying to rewire my brain. I'm trying to send my neurons in new directions. Our gray matter is still thickening, right? And there's a lot of stuff going on. You add in the chemical changes of love, and it, it, it's just too much. You need to chill out. Did you know that CAT scans show that the brain of someone in love looks just like the brain of someone on cocaine? I really don't want to mess up this date with Charlotte. I mean, all I want to do is grab her and kiss her, but... Since my prefrontal cortex is still developing, I might just do that. What the hell? I'll blow the whole thing. Tell me about it.
What's this? One cranberry orange smoothie, no yogurt, extra ginseng, and one veggie sandwich on brown. And why do I get this? Because you forgot your lunch. Because I was afraid you'd forget to eat. I suppose you want half? No. I already ate real food. But the smoothie, on the other hand... No way. Go buy your own. So you, uh, like these guys? Yeah, Doctor's awesome. Yeah. So you've got the music, but you're not really punk, are you? Like, I mean, you're sort of straight? Uh, I don't know, I, I like the bands. No, it's cool. You might not be real radical, but you're kind of cute. And you try. Popcorn? No, thanks. You want to sit down? Hey, um, do you like math? I guess. Okay, yeah, because I'm sort of trying to, like, test my brain a little. So if you could ask me some math problems, you know, like algebra, long division, those, uh, those work. Ask me anything. <laughs> come on, please. Why don't you just come and sit next to me? Because if I do, I'll grab you and kiss you and I won't want to stop. And that would be bad because... Wait a sec. What? This is happening. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're kind of out there, aren't you? I like it. Do you want to come over to my place? Look, I feel like you're always waiting. Like, no matter what we're talking about, it's always really when we're going to sleep together. Of course, I think about it. Yeah, well, so do I, you know? I mean, it's not like I don't think it'll ever happen. So... It was a mistake to sleep with Andrew. Okay, I don't want anything about us to feel like a mistake. So if you can just hang in there with me. Okay. Really? I want to be with you. I'll wait as long as it takes. On one condition. Oh, what's that? <laughs> That is before Sandy Rutella does it. Ugh. I'm choking. Guys. Look. You and Patty. Okay, I, I don't I don't get it, but if you're both okay with it, I, I guess what? You'll allow it? Yeah. No. No, I still think it's weird, but I'm just gonna, you know, shut up about it. Unless, of course, you hit on me or anything. Well, it's not gonna be easy. I mean, I'll try to resist, but you have that damn cute smile. Shut up. So, you wanna hear about my day with Charlotte? Okay. So, the date was perfect in every single way. Well, what'd you do? Shake him over to the garage. Well, my parents weren't home, right? So it was just me and her. We were sitting on the couch, listening to music, and really getting to know each other. <laughs> we just made out. I mean, we agreed we don't have to go all the way. Good call. Yet. So, we're all in the same boat. Still. And what boat is that? You guys who haven't done it yet.
You don't think? Maybe. Think I saw my Valentine. Dear crazy teen brain. Here's the thing. There's new research that says the teen brain's still missing some parts. I mean, they say we can rewire our neurons and that parts of our brain won't be fully developed till we're 20. Basically, we're crazy. I mean, you ask me how to handle love with an unformed brain, I don't know. Based on what I've read, you, you just let your brain do what it's going to do. In its own way, and in its own time. RenegadePress.com online. Check it out. Let us know what you think. About the show, about life. Talk to us. RenegadePress.com online. Be there.